Hi guys. Just waiting for my water to boil so I can make my coffee. Um, I do, like, my husband and I don't have a Keurig. I've been wanting one. <laughs> um, but I haven't had a chance to buy a Keurig. That's like on the list. But um, there's a lot of things on the list, actually. <laughs> like, once this whole thing is done, I can't wait to start furnishing our house. Like, to start, like, if once we know if we're, if we're going to stay here, because um, there's a chance, you know, they could put him anywhere in California. So, <laughs> once he knows where he's stationed, then I'll, I'll be like, okay, now we can start making this a house. Because right now, I feel like it's kind of pointless to make this a house. Um if we're not gonna be staying in it, even though we own it right now. So, you know, I like the lighting right here. It's so much better. It's just, <laughs> gotta put this up, okay. So yeah, even though um, we own the house, I don't know if we're gonna be living here. It just depends on where they place him. So <laughs> we're supposed to find out like, soon i mean i would have thought we would have found out by now so maybe this will be the week maybe this will be the magic week where we find out where we're going to be or what's going to happen to us <laughs> um so yeah um I, a lot of you guys have been commenting saying you were you were enjoying the videos and i'm glad i'm happy to hear it i'm glad you guys are enjoying it um i'm enjoying it i'm having fun doing the videos too it's kind of nice to, to do something that's away from tarot, that's like separate from that. Oh, I forgot to put my ring on today. Do you guys know, like you, you, those of you who um, wear rings on a daily basis, when you forget to put your ring on, doesn't it feel weird? Like, don't you feel completely naked? <laughs> At least that's how I feel. Um, so yeah, it's a nice change to get away from just doing tarot related stuff. And I love tarot. like. Um, I love tarot, but if I'm doing it 24 seven, um, it can be a bit much. Also, I cut my hair the other day, as you guys could tell, I don't know if you could tell, but like it's sitting a little bit shorter. Also, I curled it, but when I have it like regular length, it probably goes maybe like, maybe like just above the boobies. And it used to go like about to the boobies. <laughs> um, and so I cut my hair. I think this was, it wasn't yesterday. It was the night before. So it was um, Sunday night. And um, I was, I like to, I watch YouTube videos and they show you how you could cut your own hair. So I, I did it because I, I had done it like four months prior. And then I was like, oh, I have split ends again. So I'm going to cut my hair again. So I did. Um, it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to. Like the girl in the video has this gorgeous layers, like long layers, and it just looks really pretty. And I feel like mine didn't, but I think it's because I didn't, um, whatever the fuck it's called. Like when you're cutting upward, <laughs> um, I don't think I did it right. So I just, you know, whatever. I'm not upset about it because it's still nice to have like freshly cut hair I guess if that makes sense but yeah I cut my own hair so I curled it and it holds a curl really really well now because it's um the layers are a shorter like they're a bit shorter and so it holds a curl um but I wanted to I wanted to do that so that I can get rid of a lot of the split ends that I was getting because I was getting a lot of split ends so yeah when it's I haven't seen it straightened because my straightener broke <laughs> my straightener died I think it's done boiling my straightener died and um and so I wasn't able to to do that okay so let me just put this let me just put this here while I do my coffee You guys love seeing the different the different angles of rows. I think I've been putting myself um, out there so much more in these last couple videos than I have ever done. But I kind of like it because it takes away my fears of not being perfect. 
not being like, you know, you know what I mean? Like it, it takes those fears. Wow. <laughs> um, okay. Let me just, let me just do this real fast. Like, and then my, my oven is going to go off because I, um, what's it called? I have muffins in there. So yeah. I usually always spill. Yum! My instant coffee. Wish it was Keurig, but it's not. So we'll see how far I can get with the video before my oven goes off. I'm trying to finish this, like I have a little bit left. So I'm gonna be like hyper. And then I have my strawberries cut. So I'm just waiting for my bread to be done. That's like my easy, ugh. that's like my easy um, breakfast, my fast, my quickie breakfast. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, you're going to knock over my camera and I'm going to be so mad. Go. <laughs> Sorry guys. She's bad. So yeah, sometimes I need to do a quickie, a quickie breakfast because, um, usually like I like to cook an omelet. So omelets are probably my favorite things to make. Um, I love making scrambled eggs and like have a piece of toast with some honey on it. Um, or oatmeal is another quickie breakfast. But today I was just like, I just want something fast and just throwing in the, the baking mix to make the muffins. And just having some cut strawberries is super easy. And then like a big ass cup of coffee is like the best thing. So <laughs> that is my breakfast today. Um, I leave for work in an hour and a half or so. So I have time. I have time. Um, what did you guys think of the little vlog style video yesterday? <laughs> I was re-watching it and I was like, hey, this is kind of cool. This is, and it didn't take that long for me to upload it. Um, it helps to have a lot of extra space on the phone. Um, like I said before, my older phone was, had very limited space and um, and I wasn't able to do much with it. If you guys hear noise, that's my washer. I'm washing the new pair of pants that I bought, the pants I bought at Torrid. I'm washing them because I'm like super paranoid. I'm <laughs> Here's a story. So back in the day, like way back in the day when I was in middle school, um, I bought a pair, well, like, or I think my mom bought them for me. It was like first day of school kind of thing. And I bought a new pair of, back. okay, so back in the day I was wearing jeggings because I, I've always been a plus size girl. So I was plus size in middle school, not as big as I am now, but I was still compared to the other girls at the age of like 13, I was plus size. Um, and so <laughs> I used to go into the, the little boutiques that would carry like plus size clothes. And back in the day, jeggings um, were kind of like, you were made fun of if you were wearing jeggings because they didn't have, hang on a second. I'll let it sit for a couple more seconds. Um, because you, the jeggings back in the day didn't have, the, okay, so they, you, you were made fun of because you didn't have the button and the zipper. And basically those pants were looked at as the fat people pants, right? At least that's what the, the cruel kids in middle school would say. So I was wearing those because they were fitted on my legs and they looked nice. And I've always been the kind of girl, I never liked baggy pants. I never liked the feel of baggy or loose fitted pants on my legs. And, um, and so I would wear the jeggings. <laughs> and who would have known that what, like 20 years later, they would be popular. Like they would be in. Which is good. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let
let that cool down before I eat it because I don't want to burn my mouth in front of you guys. Um, and so back in the day, those are made fun of. Anything that didn't have a butt, like a, <laughs> that didn't have a, a button, if it was just like elastic waist, you were made fun of for wearing. And so I, I remember I would always make sure my shirts covered my waist part because I didn't want people to know that I was wearing fat people pants. Um, and so now that I like fast forward to my life now, I prefer those pants over anything else. <laughs> Like I prefer jeggings, the pull on jeggings, like without any buttons and shit, like just belly control, you know? That's like my jam. Um, Walmart has the ones that I love. And so, <laughs> so it was just kind of funny to me, but the jeggings I'm watching now, they have buttons and stuff. So it's kind of like, ooh, I'm wearing denim, but they're not, it's not really denim. Like it's my secret, you know, like it's comfortable denim. Cause you guys know, like when you wear real denim, it's not comfortable. Like it's stiff and, and some people like that cause it does, it does look really nice, but it's stiff to me. It's like, it's heavy. It's just uncomfortable. It's itchy. And I like to be comfortable when I'm wearing clothes. Um, I like to look good in my clothes and I like to make sure that I'm wearing something that is somewhat accentuating areas of myself that I enjoy. So I enjoy my boobies or I enjoy my legs. I like, you know, you know, little things like that. But <laughs> um, I just think that that was funny. I was, I don't know, I was thinking about that randomly. Oh, so anyways, back in middle school with the jeggings, um, my mom had told me, you know, let me wash them so that I could, you could wear them to school the next day. And um, I wanted to wash, I wanted to wear them that day. And she was like, no, they're gonna bleed blue. And I didn't listen to her. <laughs> so I wore those pants and they totally bled everywhere. Like they bled all over the shirt I was wearing. I remember like when I would lift up the bottom hem of the shirt, it was all blue. And it bled on my underwear. So like my underwear had like blue on it. It was just hilarious. And my mom was like, I told you. And you didn't listen to me. <laughs> so that was really funny. So whenever I buy a new pair of pants now, even if it it may not bleed, I always wash them. And I hate doing that. Like I hate washing my pants before, before I wear them um, when they're brand new because I always get that feeling of, oh my God, what if I shrink them before I even get a chance to wear them and then I spent all that money for nothing. You can't return it because you washed it. So I do have like that little fear, but um, I just, when I'm washing a pair of pants like that, I read the tag and usually like my little trick is I try to let it air dry instead of putting it in the dryer. Or if I put it in the dryer, I have it at a very, very low setting um, and then let it air dry after that. So I have enough time, the, the wash is almost done and then it's gonna, I'm just gonna like let it tumble dry. But um, I've worn and I've washed Torrid jeggings before and they don't, they don't shrink. They feel, they may feel like, like, <laughs> like more tighter more fitted on your body um, but I kind of like that because it, it for once it feels good before like the pants stretches out a little bit and then you get like the actual fit of it so so yeah <laughs> that's just a little tip like just talking about pants I guess that's what today's video is gonna be about um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my my muffins and then I'll be back Starla is literally laying, you can see her ear. <laughs> She's literally literally laying right in front of my my camera. So if it falls over, Starla, it's gonna land on you, baby girl. Um, okay, I hope you guys don't mind me eating on camera, but if I wait till <laughs> till I'm done eating to film again, I'm gonna be like short for time. And I still wanna make sure what I'm wearing is what I wanna wear to work. And you guys know. <laughs> my women who just like are so indecisive about their clothes men too i'm sure there's some of you um sometimes you have to try on more than one outfit and then nine times out of ten you like end up picking the first outfit you tried on that's me so yeah um so I brought my tarot deck. I've been in love with the Victorian Romantic Tarot for years. And this one is um, the third edition. And this is the metallic edition. It's the one that um, has the gold and like blue and metallic color overlays on the cards. Um, I love it. I've been carrying it around with me 
every single day when I go to work. Mm. Sometimes I don't even take my tarot deck out of my purse. I still carry it with me. <laughs> I, I guess I just like knowing that it's there. Mm. It's a nice feeling. So, yeah. So maybe I'll pull a card for myself. What do you guys think? Normally I don't eat the muffins with a fork, but because I'm on camera, I'm like, let me not look like a mess. <laughs> Let's, let's pull a card for myself for today. I was doing a reading for my husband last night because he was nervous about his test that he has today, which he's, it's already 10. He's taken his test already. But he said he's gonna be in class till about eight o'clock tonight. So I'm like, his cell phone time, I probably won't hear from him till then, which sucks. But, oh well, I'm used to it. Ooh, I got the Seven of Swords. I don't like that. <laughs> so the Seven of Swords, um, for for me today, for my day, um, I the Seven of Swords is kind of like a manipulator card. It's usually like somebody who is not always 100% truthful with you. This could be like um, lies, a deceitful person, a manipulative person. Um, somebody who may act like they're your friend and they're really not that kind of, that kind of energy. I don't like that. I don't like that energy. So for me today, um, this could be a reminder for myself to always come from a source of integrity with my work and the things that I do, which I do, I do, do, I do try to be as transparent with you guys as I possibly can. I try to be as honest and truthful. Um, I know that I don't always give you guys 100% of me. Um, like, like my personal life, I don't give you guys all full-blown details because I don't think that that's necessary. Um, I think that you guys knowing a certain part of me and who I am is good, but you guys don't need to know everything <laughs> for my own sake, you know? Um, but that Seven of Swords bugs me um, because it worries me about, that could be like a work situation. This could be people at work, which all of my friends I trust, but you know, sometimes there could be deceit in supervisory positions. <laughs> You guys know what I mean? So it could be that. But or this could also just be a reminder to place myself in check. Um, I also see this as a, as a reminder for me to be careful who I entrust. Like, to be careful who I allow in my inner, inner circle. I'm very choosy about that. I'm very careful with the people that I allow in that inner circle. Um, my inner circle is like the people that I talk to on a maybe a daily basis. It doesn't have to be every day, but it could be like, you know, every few days I'll talk to somebody. But these are people that know um, more in depth about me. They know more of like what's going on behind the scenes. They know they're the first ones to know if I'm having a bad day. They're the first ones to know if um, you know I'm dealing with some stuff or whatever. That's my inner circle, and I keep it real tight because I've been like, I've gone through so much drama with friends um, in the past, and a lot of times it was my mistake because I <laughs> I trusted too quickly um, or I got too comfortable too quickly, and so that's why I think that's why I'm so picky about who I allow in my inner circle. Um, because I've been burned, but it was also a karmic thing because I have also burned other people. So I'm not innocent either. I've also been a crappy friend, um, multiple times. And so I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I got what I deserved, you know, but since that experience or those couple of experiences, I have had a very positive streak and I feel like anything that happens now is not coming from karma because I've been a really good friend and I've been a good person. 
as far as my friendships go. Um, so it kind of worries me that the Seven of Swords came up. It's like, okay, is someone fucking with me? So I have ugh, the Eight of Swords. Why are these hard cards coming up for me? Page of Wands and Strength. Well, I don't really feel like I'm in an Eight of Swords moment right now. Eight of Swords is like being stuck in your mindsets and being stuck in, in your negative thinking or your, your ego or your fears. Mm. I don't really feel like that's me. But that Page of Wands is starting fresh in a in a trade and a passion and an activity and something that really interests me, which is getting back into the groove of tarot because um, as you guys know, this weekend I, di I didn't have any orders this weekend, which is usually unusual for me because I usually have one or two at least, two or three. Um, I usually have orders and so I didn't have any, it was a real quiet time. But it was kind of nice because it gave me a chance to relax. It gave me a chance to just kind of do my own thing, you know? And um, and so maybe that Eight of Swords and that Page of Swords is, or Page of Wands is kind of saying like, for me to get out of the, the because I was in depression like a few days ago to last week. Um, so maybe getting outside of that, you know, coming, getting outside of that mindset. And then the page of wands is saying, there's going to be some new beginnings. You're going to start getting sales because I do feel it. <laughs> I feel like the, the people who normally, or people who want to book a reading with me are waiting for September 1st. They're waiting for like, to see what, um, what fall thing readings I'm going to be offering in the shop before they purchase. So I understand, I get it. I think that this, this quiet time with the readings, with the sales, is for a reason. And then I pulled the strength card, which is so funny that I pulled strength because strength was in my daily message today. And um, I dreamt about strength last night. I dreamt about a lion. And then when I woke up today, um, I woke up to a lion. I have to put lotion. Starla! <laughs> I woke up to a lion um, post. So it was like, the lion has been around me for the last two days. Not really sure what that means. I gotta look it up. But hey, no. Uh-uh. Oh, I thought she was gonna knock over the camera. She likes, she tries to drink my coffee and she's so bad. She is so bad. Oh, I love lotion, you guys. Like, I don't like the feeling of um, dry hands. So, okay, like when I say put lotion in your hair, this, this video is so all over the place. So usually like I'll put a little bit of lotion and then like I kind of put it in my hair and I love the lotion that I just put in. It's lavender scent. It's um, lavender enriching hand cream and I freaking love lavender, like that's my scent. <laughs> so that's what I do, I put lotion in my hair. I feel like it just tames the frizzies yeah so anyways lions so it's kind of cool it's kind of cool and kind of funny to see the board the beautiful strength card <laughs> so i don't know maybe these cards are preparing me to be strong this week i hope nothing negative is going to happen I, I i don't want anything negative to happen you know like i want to just i want to have a simple week but we'll see what happens we'll see here i am eating with my hands <laughs> mm. So, <sighs> yeah, I gotta find some topics to talk about. <laughs> mm. I was thinking about that too. Like, do I need topics? Do I want to do that with this type of reading style or video style? Like, do I want? to have like a, a uniform thing of things to talk about or do I just want to free flow it? And I think, I think I like the natural free flow of talking about stuff because it just gives me a chance to just turn on the camera and film and I'll probably be more 
prone to filming if I don't have to think about what I'm gonna say first or plan it out or get tools ready, like if I wanna show off a deck or something. I think that um, that's how you guys are gonna see more authenticity with me, um, is if I just turn on the camera and then I just start filming. So, yeah. This is fun though. It's fun to have someone to talk to for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this morning I texted my mom and I was like <laughs> I go so last night I was playing fetch with Luna I mean with Starla because she plays fetch and um and I go she when I when I was ignoring her like when she would bring her toy back she'll put her little paw and she'll like touch me or she'll meow and so like telling me mommy throw the ball and so my mom was like, you must be so lonely. <laughs> my mom is so, so like sarcastic. Like this is sarcasm and she's like up here. <laughs> my mom is a, a Gemini. She's a Gemini. Her son is in Gemini. And I don't know. I don't know what her rising and her moon are, but she, I think she has to have some Capricorn in her chart, like heavy Capricorn. Cause her and my sister get along and my sister's a Capricorn son. And um, they're both really hard they communicate together but for me like I just I don't mesh with them <laughs> I don't mesh with them so um yeah so she's very sarcastic but it's funny like she's my mom like I'll, I could take it <laughs> I could take it sometimes sometimes it does hurt my feelings though I'm not gonna lie my little fishy traits get sensitive and I get super sensitive but because I know that that's my mom that that's her nature it's okay. Starla. Strawberries are so good, you guys. <laughs> mm. So, tomorrow is Wednesday. So I work tomorrow, I work Thursday. I think Friday, I'm gonna um, snap the pictures for the dailies for September and I'm definitely using a dark thing deck. So I, I can't wait to do that. I need to set up my little halloween -y space. Um, I gotta get my husband to take down one of the boxes that has like the decor in it. Um, and yeah, so you guys will be seeing a little bit of a transformation in the cackling moon on the site. You'll be seeing it in the reading videos and all that good stuff. So super excited. But anyways, 14 minutes in, I'm going to go upload this video for you guys. Um, thank you for joining me for breakfast. <laughs> Sorry if this was kind of boring. Ask me some questions. Give me some topics to talk about if you want. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow for another video diary. Bye, loves. <laughs>